Okay, so now that we're able to save messages to our messages table in the database, let's see how we can load up messages um, the first time that we connect to um, the server. Okay, so anytime the uh, browser connects to the server, we want to make sure that um, the messages are loaded. As you can see right now, when I refresh uh, the every browser, the messages list is lost. Okay, so first thing that we need to do is come over to your base um, folder here in the, your chat application and create a file there called load history. Okay, so it's going to be load history dot php, and um, since this is not going to be GSR four um, compliant, then we need to add in a, a require statement at the top there. So let's do require um, vendor forward slash auto load dot php. Okay, so I'll just quickly um, change the spelling of vendor to a uh, vendor auto load dot php. Okay, so let's do a use chat app um, backslash entities and then backslash uh, message because we need the message class. And what we need to do is we need to echo um, all the messages in JSON format. So we're going to query for messages. Let's do message all and then we're going to call to to JSON um, function on it. Okay, so echo um, message all to JSON. Okay. So now let's head over to our main.js um, here. And as you can see, we have an event handler for whenever we connect to the server. So that's where we're going to do an Ajax request to this file that we newly created here, which is load history. Since load history gives us all the files um, that we have in JSON format, let's go to our browser. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do go to php chat forward slash load history just to show you that um, that's the case. So load history dot php as you can see this is what we're receiving so we're going to query for this in ajax format okay so i'll just go to my text editor again and um, in there i'm going to do dollar dot ajax and um, the url for that is going to be load history this is relative to the server so load history dot php and what does it expect it expects um, data type of json And in the success call um, back here, that's where we're going to loop through um, all of the data and then we're going to append it to this message list. So we're going to do dollar dot each and data and we're going to have a call back here. So this call back in here, that's where we're going to do messages list dot uh, prepend. So let's do messages list dot prepend. And what do we want to prepare? We want to prepare a lie. And um, the current instance message, um, the current instance will be for each of the messages. So for each message, we just do this dot text and do a plus. And then we just close the li tag here. So back in our browser here, when I refresh, um, let's go to the network tab. You see an Ajax request being made to the server. So I refresh and um, see it seems like we have an error on line 17 in main let's go there and fix it so line 17 dollar dot ajax um we did not put the url key here so it should be key values so back in our browser let's refresh and as you can see it's loading up all the chat history that we have saved up previously okay so it's making a query to the server and loading up all of that so let's go back to the um, Firefox client as well here and do the same as you can see is loading up our history from previous messages that we saved. Okay, so let's just do it's nice chatting. Send it's saving it, but now when I refresh, we're still um, getting that from the server. Okay, so um, that's it guys for this video and um, thank you for watching. I will see you soon in the next video. Cheers. Bye bye.